Today we're going to be working on a customer's USB flash drive. Um, this particular flash drive came in for no data, uh, really no power, because the customer is plugging it in and there's nothing uh, populating on the file explorer. So essentially the customer can't access this data. So what we need to do first is take apart this flash drive. Uh, we can see here it is a 128 gigabyte uh, flash drive made in China. So what we have to do is actually open this up. There we go. Now that we have the sleeve off, we're going to set that to the side. So the first thing we want to do is do a little bit of a visual inspection on here to see if we see anything wrong. So I'm going to switch to the scope view. And we're going to see if we can find anything wrong with this flash drive. A lot of times you will visually see uh, when there's something wrong. So we just kind of go up and down. We're looking for burn marks or even sometimes damage. So nothing so far on the front side. Let's look on the back. Oh, what do we have right there? So look at that, we have a cap that's come off. And that may very well be our issue. Let's see if there's anything else. So we're going to add some flux and reattach this. Ah, so it's actually completely disconnected. So first things first, I'm going to put a little bit of flex. And I apologize for the pauses, guys. I am looking for some of my tools. One of our technicians has borrowed for an extensive period of time a couple of my soldering uh, tools and so when I go to do my job it takes a little bit longer because I'm looking for what I need and it's not here. All right, now that I have my soldering iron ready to go, what I'm going to do is with one hand I'm going to very gently position this cap back in place. And that noise you guys hear in the background, that's called a fume extractor. Uh, it probably is annoying to the microphone, but it's very necessary for the safety of myself and any other technicians that work with solder or anything that has lead or other components in it. These things are toxic to your body. There we go, we got one side in. And now what we want to do is really attach this other side properly. There we go. There we go. Now it's a good strong capacitor. All right, so now that that's done, now we're going to clean this off a little bit and give it a test, see if this fixed it. So what I'm using here is a cleaning cloth uh, that's safe on these boards and alcohol. I'm also going to use a little bit of heat to loosen up this flex here. You'll notice its viscosity slowly changes when we heat it up. This allows us to just remove the flux a lot easier and quicker. 
We use a much lower temperature than what we would use when we're soldering, that way none of the components become loose when we're cleaning the board. And look at that. Looks better than it did when we opened it. Alright, so now that that's done, I'm going to switch back to the higher view, and we're going to remove this, just like that. All right, and now I'm going to switch my camera views, and we're going to plug this in. If we hear the Windows key sound, then that is a good sign. Oh, look at that. And let me show you guys what I'm seeing on my screen. There we go. The customer's data is recovered. Now what we're going to do uh, effective immediately is we are going to back this customer's data up, even though this uh, flash drive is working right now. Just as with any flash drive or any other type of storage device, it could stop working at any moment for other reasons. Typically when it has one issue, uh, not typically, but sometimes when it will have a drive will have one issue, it may have others, and so you might fix one problem, uh, but you may uh, have other issues pop up. So as soon as we get this uh, recovered, uh, we want to go ahead and recover, or so, as soon as we get this fixed, as soon as, soon as words, words, as soon as we get this fixed, we want to go ahead and recover all of the data to a known working drive. That way we have two copies of it, the original, if that's in a good stable condition, as well as the new drive. When we return this data to the customer, uh, our policy is to always um, put this on a, the, the data on a new drive. Because again, with data being sensitive, we don't want to return the original drive uh, back to the customer as it may have further issues down the road we want to move this customer's data to a new flash drive. So if you guys need your data recovered, what you can do is simply go to xirepair.com and you can type in the type of drive you have. If you have a flash drive, simply type in flash drive recovery and click start repair. Fill out the reasons for your repair. Is the flash drive damaged? Will the computer not recognize the drive, like in this video? Or other issues? Would you like this service as expedited? So in this case, do you need this as soon as possible? And then please let us know what the issue is. In the example uh, that you watched me fix in this video, the customer's uh, my drive wouldn't recognize the computer. I need my data ASAP. Click Submit. Then we're going to fill this out. Please put your information where we can contact you at. A good email address, a good phone number. And this is our store phone number in case you guys have any questions. You can always give us a call. Then put your address in. This will show you if you have a location near us, near you or not. Uh, our service centers are located in Montgomery, Alabama, uh, and we only have one at the time of making this video. We may have more in the future. So if you're from out of state, unless you're willing to drive over, you'll probably want to select mail-in, which does offer free shipping to you, to us. Now this is the address of our service center where it'll be going. So you'll just click select and then you can click get a free label. Please put the address that you would like this to go to because that will be the address we return it to unless otherwise stated by you. All right, and then you'll scroll down and click book repair. And now this will generate you a shipping label. Uh, once the shipping label is generated, you can click print shipping label and voila. You have your information up here, the phone number you provided to us, your return address, as well as where this package will be sent to. So we use UPS for all of our package labels. This is because they tend to be one of the most reliable shipping carriers. Uh, we do not use USPS because things tend to get lost or stolen or we have other issues with delivery. UPS is much more reliable. 
uh, and we have a direct business relationship with them. So once you print the label, you can just click Control P on your computer, and you could print that to your nearest uh, printer. You can just go to Google and look up UPS store near me, and you can drop off this package with the label that we've provided you at any UPS drop-off location. You can drop off this. You can drop off your flash drive with the label that we've provided you at any UPS store or UPS access point. As you can see here in our city, we have tons and tons of UPS locations, and this is the same pretty much no matter where you are in the United States. If you do not have a UPS store near you, uh, you can drop this off at a UPS access point, which is in conveniently in CVS's, certain advanced auto parts, and other convenience stores around the country. You will need to provide your own packaging, so we do recommend you package it as safe as possible with bubble wrap and preferably in a small box. Um, and that's it. We ask that you try to use a box that's appropriate for the flash drive itself or the other media storage device that you're sending us, whether it's a cell phone, computer, or whatever. But again, all of this information can be found online, and you can also contact us at this phone number or this email address for any information regarding your repair. Uh, we do not charge for diagnostics. We can tell you how much it will cost to fix your drive, um, typically as soon as we get the, d the device. Most repairs can run anywhere from $125 up for data recovery. Really just depends on what's wrong with your drive. But we are much more affordable than many online other services that you will find, uh, and faster. So again, this is my name is Jonathan with XI Repair, and let us know what we can fix for you today.